make the dangling heart pendant, we have a heart bead. And this is a beautiful Venetian glass bead. And the hole goes from the top through to the bottom. And it's 20 millimeters by 20 millimeters. And we also have a leaf charm. The leaf charm is 12 millimeters by 18 millimeters. And it's in natural brass. These two are going to be the star of the show. And our supporting actors are some beads. We've got two round ceramic beads. This finish is called Earth because of these earthy colors. And these are eight millimeters. And then we've got two faceted crystals in turquoise. They have a little bit of an AB finish. And those beads are five millimeters by six millimeters. We also have some bead caps in copper. These bead caps are about 10 millimeters across, kind of a pinwheel design. And then this ring is actually half of a toggle clasp. You can use each half for whatever you want if you don't want to use it as a whole toggle clasp. We sometimes like to steal the ring part because it has the little attacher. That one is about 11 millimeters and it's also in copper. To put the whole thing together, we're actually going to use hemp cord. And our hemp cord is about a millimeter thick. And we made sure that all of these beads have a hole that will take this size hemp cord. So we just tested it to make sure the hole was big enough. We're going to use about five inches of that. And then the only tool we need is scissors. To make the dangling heart pendant, the first thing we want to do is cut a piece of the hemp cord about five or six inches long. And then we're going to tie it onto our ring that we stole from a toggle clasp. And you could also just use a regular ring and you could tie your hemp right onto the ring, but we like this little extra loop at the bottom. And I'm just going to tie a little overhand knot here where I make a cross and I go around and then feed the end up through. And the hemp cord has a lot of uh, body and texture to it. So when I pull it tight like this, it stays tied. I'm not worried about it coming loose at all. So that's how we're going to attach to our ring. This ring then will attach to our necklace. We'll put our chain right through there. Then we're going to feed on our beads. We have our earth bead is going to go on first. That's our ceramic round bead. And then we're going to feed on the bead cap next. And the bead cap has a top side and a bottom side. We want to make sure the top side is sitting up. So I'm going to feed the cord down through, whoops, down through the hole in the bead cap. And that way I know that that patterning is going to be sitting up. That's the underside facing down. And next I'm going to feed on this pretty faceted bead. And if the end of your cord is getting a little bit frayed and doesn't want to go through the bead, you can just cut a little point in it as you're going. And that's why we cut ourselves a little extra cord so we can trim it as we go. And then I can feed that right through the bead. And then next we'll put on the heart bead. This Venetian glass bead heart has a hole at the that goes through from the top to the bottom. And we're going to feed our cord through the same way. And that way it sits upright. And we chose this small bead to sit right next to the heart so that it nestles down in between the curves. If the bead was much larger, a lot of that string would show. It would sit up higher. But this way it nestles down in there and hides some of the hemp twine. Then we're going to feed on the same beads in the same order underneath the heart. And we like that this project doesn't require wire and you don't need tools, you don't need wire cutters or round nose pliers. It's just string. It's just this hemp cord. And really you could do this with any beads you want. We just thought this heart bead was so pretty and we started playing around and we thought the copper went well with it. We put the copper ring at the top and so to finish off the bottom we thought it should have a copper feature also at the bottom. And that's why we chose this leaf. So we're just going to finish it now with this leaf charm at the bottom. I'm going to tie it the same way I did up here. I'm going to tie an overhand knot. So I'm making that loop. I'm bringing the tail up through the loop like that. And then I want the knot to sit up next to that bead. So I just want to make sure that I'm sliding it up towards that bead. And so I can just move that knot a little bit roll it up there towards the bead. And then I want to trim this end of the hemp cord to be about the same length as the piece up here. 
I'm just going to use the scissors for that. And if it frays a little bit while we wear it, that's great. Because that's the look for it to be a little bit boho. And that is how we made our dangling heart pendant. Mm -hmm.